Warwickshire edge a tough first day at Bristol. Warwickshire were Bristol bound to face a Gloucestershire side eager to recover from their sound beating by Worcestershire in round one. Themselves frustrated, having failed to close out North Hans the week before, the visitors started strongly on day one at the county ground, as Oliver Hannon Dolby struck in just his third over to remove Gloucester skipper Chris Dent for two. But after that early setback, the home side settled to their task. Graham Van Buren and opener Ben Charlesworth taking the fight to the Bears bowlers. Charlesworth's pull through mid-wicket for four brought up the 50 partnership of only 85 balls. The pair had put on 67 runs before Craig Miles outwitted Van Buren and Ian Bell took the catch, the 29-year-old South African out for 33. George Hankins was next to take up the baton alongside Charlesworth and the two kept things ticking over to ensure the home side could enjoy lunch with just two wickets down and 83 on the board. Having played beautifully in the morning session, opener Ben Charlesworth reached his 50 soon after the resumption in 111 balls. The Gloucestershire 100 followed and they looked well set, but suddenly a setback. Rhodes changed the angle, Charlesworth cramped for space and heading back to the pavilion for 51. His dismissal sparked a flurry of wickets. After fighting hard for an hour, Hankins went for 11 to Hannon Dolby. Two overs later, Higgins 2 was gone, trapped in front for one, the home side suddenly wobbling at 103 for five. Jack Taylor and Gareth Roderick were then able to galvanise for Gloucestershire to steer them to tee without further loss of wickets, but with the addition of just 28 runs. The pair continued to keep the Warwickshire bowlers at bay into the evening and brought up the 50 partnership of 145 deliveries. Taylor went in the next over though, LBW to Will Rhodes for a dogged 14 of 74 balls. As so often happens, one wicket brought two. Rhodes again with a breakthrough, keeper Michael Burgess with some smart glove work to have Gareth Roderick stumped for 39. With both set batsmen out, the Bears would have hoped to rip through the Gloucestershire tail, but the home side continued to hang on. Hannon Dolby returned to have Scott out LBW for 18, but that was to be the final wicket to fall on the first day. Tom Smith and Josh Shaw saw things out as Gloucestershire closed on 191 for eight. Some frustration for the Warwickshire bowlers again, failing to really push home their advantage, but they didn't let Gloucestershire get away and will expect to be batting early on day two.